Hey guys, so this is the part 8 of I Wonder Why Triceratops Had Horns and other questions about dinosaurs. Let's begin. First, we're gonna on our pen. And then let's go to our page. Okay, first we're gonna start with this. Why did Triceratops have horns? Triceratops looked pretty fierce, but it was a plant eater and more used to feeding than fighting. It used its three sharp horns to scare off hungry meat-eating dinosaurs, or, if that didn't work, to fight them. Now, I'm gonna do this. There were many different kinds of dinosaur with horns and neck frills. Do this. Taurosaurus had the largest head of any land animal that has ever lived. With a neck frill, its head was as long as a modern car. Now, this. Centrosaurus. Pa Pachyrhinosaurus. Centrosaurus. Pachyrhinosaurus. Chasmosaurus. And now we're gonna do this. The charging Triceratops was unstoppable. It could gallop faster than a rhino, and it weighed more than a male African elephant. Now we're gonna do this. Which dinosaur had body armor? The thick, leathery skin on top of Ankylosaurus' body? Which dinosaur had body armor? Which dinosaur had body armor? The thick, leather armor. Which dinosaur had body armor? The thick, leathery skin on top of Ankylosaurus's body had hard, bony lumps and spikes growing in it. This suit of bony armor made the dinosaur into a living tank. Very difficult to attack. Now let's do the armor. Armor. Armor is a protective covering such as a shell that some animals have or that soldiers wear in battle. Now let's do this. Ankylosaurus may have crouched down to hide its soft belly when attacked. Meat eaters would have broken their teeth on the armored skin over the top of its body. Now we're gonna do a sound. Last one. And now we're gonna do our questions. True or false? Ankylosaurus had armor all over it, including its belly. Yes. Unlucky this time. Oopsies. Another one. Triceratops weighed less than an African elephant. Great! Now, let's do the last Centrosaurus one. Centrosaurus didn't have any horns. Centrosaurus. Wrong. Well done. Now, let's do our finding. Can you find an elephant? Right here. Well done! Another one. Can you find Pachyrhinosaurus? Pachyrhinosaurus. Excellent. Last one. Can you find Chasmosaurus? Chasmosaurus. Correct. Now let's do this. Put the pen on Taurosaurus to find out more. Taurosaurus. Triceratops and Taurosaurus are closely related. Some scientists even think that Taurosaurus may actually be a Triceratops in a fully grown, mature stage of its life. Last one. Put the pen on Ankylosaurus to find out more.
Ankylosaurus lived in what is now North America and South America. It lived about 70 to 65 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period. Okay. So it is all it for our play, listen, and learn book. Don't forget to like and subscribe on this play, listen, and learn. And don't and thank you so much for the viewers of the of my of my sister's channel and some of the viewers didn't subscribe again so please subscribe right now so we can have yeah okay bye